Hello to all. Welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we will study about sending alert emails when a pipeline fails in Azure Data Factory. So whenever in the ADF a pipeline fails, okay, that should be recorded in the form of an email to the configured email ID. So for this purpose, what we can do is we'll go to the portal first and here on the left side, we have this monitor icon. Okay, so we'll click away monitor and here upon clicking the monitor, the last section is notification where we have alerts and metrics. All the above are for checking the pipeline run, trigger run, etc. We have to focus on the alert and metrics. Okay, here you can see first option is metrics and the other one is new alert rule. So in order to send that email notification email, we have to click on new alert rule. Okay, so this alert rule pop up will come. It will have the alert rule name. Okay, so we write the new alert rule name. So let's say the alert rule name as alert pipeline failure. Okay, this we have named it. Description is not mandatory. Then we have to give the severity. Okay, in real time, we'll select the severity for different types of, let's say, pipeline for other cases. So here we are just giving it as severity zero. Then comes the next configuration target criteria. So let's click on the plus sign, add target criteria. And here there are multiple pre-configured metrics here in the panel. Okay. So we are in this example taking up the failed pipeline runs metrics. Okay. Whatever we select here, let's say I'm selecting failed pipeline run metrics here. Continue. It will show me the name. Okay. The name of the pipelines and the failure type. Okay, let's go back and this time I select, let's say, fail activity runs metric. Okay, then click on this and it will show you the different activities, activity name, pipeline name, failure type, etc. So we are here taking up the fail pipeline run metric. So we'll select this, then we'll click on continue. Okay, so over the last six hours, okay, let's say from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. If the pipeline has failed, it will show us a graph. Okay. During this time duration, none of my pipeline has failed. So it is showing me no graph. Okay. Now I will select the pipelines. Okay. So in the dimension and values, we have to, we have to select the pipelines, select a value. Okay. We have the option to select all too. So I am in this case selecting all. Okay. You can select a particular pipeline to which you want to send to which you are suspecting that it will fail and you want to get alerted. Okay. So you'll select that pipeline. Here we are selecting all. Then the failure type. Let's say we are selecting all. You can configure it as per your choice. Then in the alert logic, we have to give the condition, time aggregation and the threshold count. Okay. So we are leaving it as it is. Then evaluate based on the period so every one minute it will be evaluated. Okay. So this is the default value for alert lo logic and evaluate based on. So we'll leave it as is. Okay. So next we'll click on our criteria. So the criteria, target criteria and action, we, you can see that it is configured here. Next job is to configure email, SMS, push or voice notification. Okay. We have the option to add the SMS to email. Or voice notification then we'll click on configure notification and now we have to set the action group okay if we already have an action group created we can use or reuse it here if it is not there we have to create a new action group here itself so here we have two options create new or use existing why it is used to notify your team via email and text messages or automate actions using webhooks runbooks function logic apps or integrating with ITSM solutions. So we are going to create a new action group. Let's name it as action group cloud 
नॉलेज शॉर्ट नेम एक्शन ग्रुप क्लाउड नॉलेज ओके सो वी हैव गिवन दिस एक्शन ग्रुप अ नेम एंड शॉर्ट नेम नेक्स्ट इज द नोटिफिकेशन सो क्लिक ऑन प्लस एड नोटिफिकेशन एक्शन नेम इट विल बी अ न्यू एक्शन ओके लेट्स से सो हियर वी हैव टू गिव एक्शन द एक्शन नेम नाउ हियर ऑल्सो विल गिव इट एज एक्शन फेलियर पाइपलाइन देन सिलेक्ट विच नोटिफिकेशन यू लाइक टू रिसीव सो इन दिस केस आई एम सिलेक्टिंग ई मेल फर्स्ट सो लेट अस एड आर ई मेल आई डी okay we can choose sms option too if we click on sms it will show us to add country code and the phone number so we are not interested in sms we'll simply take up the email so we have added the email we'll add this notification okay so so here you can see that action failure pipeline this action name and the action type has been created we'll add the action group so we'll click on the add action group wait for some time and it will be shown here under the notification that the action group has been added okay one email has been configured enable rule upon creation when you switch it on so once the rule is created it will be enabled now we'll click on create alert rule wait for some time and here you can see now that this alert has been created alert pipeline the complete name was alert pipeline failure it is enabled okay then the resource type is pipeline resources are 28 pipelines which we have selected in this data factory and the action is configured here which we can check here or edit okay so now this is configured now in this data factory we have to fail a pipeline to see if this action group works because we have selected all the pipelines so we'll go to the author menu and we'll select a random pipeline and we'll select the data flow and in the source we'll see the data set let's click on open data set and browse so it is browsing me to this location test input okay here is the test input now let's see if we have a test input 1 no we don't have at this location so we'll randomly give test input 1 which does not exist so ideally this pipeline should fail because it will not find this file path now what we will do we'll go to the pipeline we'll publish the change now the changes are publishing one very important thing to note is that the alert will not be sent if we perform a debug run for the alerts to be sent through action group or the email id which we have configured it has to be a triggered run so we'll perform a trigger run not a debug run okay add trigger trigger now okay so it will be triggered run so it will be a pipeline execution through trigger So let's wait for the pipeline to be finished. So we'll go to the monitor tab. So we'll come to the pipeline runs, and here under the pipeline runs we have triggered and debug option. So we have to click on the triggered runs. You can see my pipeline two is still in progress through a manual trigger. Okay. So we'll wait for it to get completed. and in the meantime we'll try to open the email so here you can see in the emails i have got an email that my id has been added to a action group azure monitor action group we'll go back and now we'll wait for this pipeline to be finished 
let's click on refresh now we could see that the pipeline has finished and the error message is that the folder does not exist because we have given a folder location or the file path which does not exist so if we go to the alert and metrics we have created this alert rule and through this alert rule we'll get and with the help of this alert rule we should get an email to the configured email id about the failure of this pipeline so let's go to the email and check so the time is correct the pipeline has failed so if we go back to the pipeline the pipeline has failed on october 29 7 16 44 pm and if we go to the mailbox we have got a email alert at 7 17 pm so let's click on the email alert it says your azure monitor alert was triggered the rule id resource id and the other important details metric name we have selected as pipeline failed runs metric name which data factory it belongs to and the other relevant details so we could be notified through email whenever a pipeline fails in data factory very easily we just need to go to the data factory for which the pipeline failure email has to be sent and in the monitor section through the alert and metrics we create a new alert rule for the different metrics which are present there as per our need then configure the email id or the phone number for the sms and then we could get notified or alerted via email and other options for the activities which we want to get notified for so this is simple demo on the pipeline failure activity hope you have got the basic idea of creating the alert rule and action group and get notified thank you for watching the video keep learning bye